Hey everybody, Gravy Train here, another episode of Gravy Training. This one is a um, Let's Play, first in a series of the game Satisfactory. It is early access, so there will be bugs, including the ones that I encountered that made the game unplayable. So I am doing a another round, giving it a try. So we're going to go in I will play the cutscenes so that you guys can hear it and see it, and then I'll pick back up after. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for fixing <laughs> They said duties. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planetfall procedure initialized. And at this point, everybody has seen a craft come crashing down. Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. It's a good thing they drop me right by the enemies before I have my Welcome to stuff. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base for now. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Yep. Third objective, please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. So that's a limestone over there then. I wonder if it just never gave it to me. Maybe that wasn't a bug. Maybe it was a tutorial thing. I hadn't gotten any iron. That very well could be it. So I wish I had thought about that. So let's find the iron, which is actually close by. 304, 314. I have a pretty good idea of where we are. Which means, yeah, okay. Right now I know exactly where I am. There is a mon or a creature that I don't want to fight that is over there. And he is not coming after me, which is good. So I'm going to grab this. Sulfur is not common in the area, so I'm going to grab it now. There's another one of these around the corner over here. This one is probably bauxite. 
Samor. No idea what Samor is. Okay. Continuing around because there was other good stuff around this hill. that I can kill. Fortunately, I only managed, or managed to only pull one of them. Not that I can't kill two of them, but... This creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. You gotta hit these guys four times. They run around in circles. They are faster than you. So, all right. Let's see. There will be iron over here. I think. I think, I think. isn't. Alright, so that's further on. It's over here then. Yeah. Alright. It is down over here, which means for the moment I want to get up the top of this mesa. There's a power slug that I want. Matter of fact, there are several power slugs there that I want. I do not think, actually this, not a terrible area either. So there's a slug that I can maybe get to. I'm just going to gather up some slugs again. These slugs are used later on to upgrade equipment or upgrade uh, um, machines. Overclock them. Fourth objective: build the hub. Note: complete this objective, the resources. Yeah, that was my issue. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. So, yeah, I threw away like an hour's worth of footage because I had thought the game bugged out on me. Only it wasn't the game. It was my br Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ow. That hurt. And I got a friend. Wants to give me a hug. Not to catch me. Alright. Get back up there and not fall this time. Test my parkour skills. Come on. Heck. Come on, come on, come on. No. No. <sighs> I can see Abe laughing, laughing, laughing. He loves to see me fail. And in fairness, I do it a lot. God, freaking damn it. Alright, 
I'm not wasting any more time on that guy. Whoa. Uh, there are two more right over here. There's more iron over here. And what is this? More sulfur. Grab it. Sulfur. Sulf, blah, blah, blah. Sulfur will be used later on. Like gunpowder. That kind of stuff. Grab this limestone while I'm here. Limestone is used to make cement. It's a big man of limestone. All right. Grab some leaves. Leaves are used for fuel. Turn them into biofuel. More iron here. of iron here, but no copper. Really wish you could ping for copper earlier. I don't want to get set up too far away from copper. That's copper right over there. I know right where I'm at. This is where I was set up before. Wonder if I can get him to jump off the ledge. Wonder if they can get me to jump off the ledge. the other one. There it is. Except he forgot about me. But I'm timing everything wrong. Alright. So this is what I was trying to grab over there. It's power slugs. They are used this to help. Seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystal um, shell. Further analysis help boost of crystals machines. All right. So there's also one right over there, which is actually where I thought I was. But we're gonna go down around there. That'll get us to the starting point, or where I want to set up the first base actually over by the other copper. I can fall some. I can't fall great distances. I usually just try to pick up uh, leaves and stuff as I'm running around. Sometimes I'll make dedicated trips, but Easier just to... Oh, hello. Ah, damn. Yeah, apparently they can't fall off cliffs. Which suits me just fine. 
Oh, we're gonna get trapped there. All right. Wish I had a ranged weapon. So I need to get up over there, which is not extremely difficult. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object status <clears throat> identification. So there's limestone right here. I'm going to have to fight this guy. Maybe I'm not. Definitely going to have to fight the guy right up here. And you know what? There's also iron right around here, so I'm probably just going to work. Do my old plan from last time. Come on. I want to go ahead and grab some of this before I set up so I don't have to run back and forth because I'm going to need that wire very quickly. And I'm even going to pick up some of the iron here. Just going to get up to 100. As far as I know, these things don't run out. That could, however, be wrong. So that is limestone over there. There's also limestone right over there. There's iron right over here. Iron is down a little depression. Very little depression. It is convenient. You guys got no idea how to get to me. Careful. All right, so there, there's this iron, which I'm going to go ahead and grab because I need to have it moved before I can start. So the benefit of having lost the other game, or the other game play, is that now I'm set up considerably quicker. We can get started on the base. Alright. So I'm going to centralize since I kind of have a resource right over there, a resource right over there, and one right over there. I'm going to centralize. So I'm going to hit Q, pull up this, so this side is the side that's going to have the generators. We'll drop that down. Come examine this. That's our crafting bench and our terminal. Hub feature, hub terminal, fifth objective, hub upgrade, storage and power. Note: So unfortunately, and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Unfortunately, this is the bad part about this game early game. So I have to sit down and hold the button. Which makes for incredibly awesome gameplay video. But, so you, you can actually... 
Oh, you can actually smelt here. You can create your iron plates and iron rods, which we will be automating ASAP. You can place, uh, or you can do your, um, once I get the next level, I'll be able to do copper, create copper wire and copper cables for power cables. Um, and then I can start building things like smelters, miners, all that kind of stuff, and, and slowly start getting to where all this becomes completely automated. So I'm going to do probably about 40 of these. And that puts me at, uh, where is it, 41. I'm going to do the rest of these as iron rods. And then I'm going to come over here, select milestone, tier zero, hub upgrade one. And that just requires 10 of those rods. Boom. Now, because of what I've already done, see now you see it wants 50 of those. I'm going to select that milestone. Give it the 10. Hub feature, personal storage. Give it the 10. Feature, copper. And equipment, buildings, and blueprints. Create this found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench, respectively. All right, so I need 50 of these. Sixth objective hub upgrade construction. Note connect buildings to a generator for power. Note buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal so results. That is limestone. Uh, for right now congratulations you have unlocked scanner sulfur new buildings and blueprints which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively all right seventh objective hub upgrade conveyor belts note use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results note constructors are capable of constructing copious parts of which only one type at a time So, putting together some biofuel, that will go into the generator. I've got almost 200. Fortunately, the generator, if you're not drawing power, doesn't waste the fuel. But it will, and eventually I'll get better fuel for that. Um, so now, the thing that I really am going to want is I'm going to need to craft an equipment workbench. I want it kind of off to the side, out of the way. Because it's not all that important. And I'm going to come over here. I've got to get out of crafting mode. Portable miner, I'm missing cables. So, let me get myself some more copper ingot. Turn that into wire. As you know, that's something you could do with just your hands. Uh, craft some more wire. Make sure I've got enough. Yeah, I'm going to craft about half of that into cables. Because so I want, ideally, at least two of these miners. And I can craft two. So, first one goes over here on the iron. To do it, you have to put it into your inventory and then click with it. And I always like to run around with my little gun thing. Or shocker. Whatever. And the other one comes up here. Now these do not require power. Some miracle of science. Now they will get up to a hundred 
just by themselves. But while I'm waiting on that, gather up some leaves. Fuel, biomass. Top this off. And I'm going to go grab some iron. It's not a lot to get us started again. So we need to select this milestone so that we can track it. We need concrete. Okay. I need the limestone. Graph the concrete. Okay, that should be plenty of that. Then some. So we need concrete to build power pylons and conveyor posts. So both of those will be a resource that is frequently needed. Need the cable. We'll need a bunch more plates and we're going to need some reinforced plates, which I can actually create by creating screws. I think I only need two of these. And some more iron ingots. We will very quickly be turning turning on some smelters yeah. so that that process is not nearly so bad. Okay. Can we create a smelter now? I'm missing wire. So this is why I grabbed some of that copper to begin with, was so that we could do this pretty early on. Alright, so I want to start putting these things together in a way that makes sense. So I don't have to go ridiculously far because of where I'm at, but I'm going to want to have a smelter here. Now the red side is the input and the green side is the output. I'm going to put that one there. I am going to put down a power pole. So because I will eventually have two of these. Each one of these, you can see it has like a number, one out of four. Each one can have four connections. There will eventually be a second generator there. And I am going to have it so that that one runs into this. So I will create another PowerPoint. I have to click on here to connect it. And I'm going to create another point right over here. I can use that to then connect this and this is going to be doing copper ingots I can give it my copper this is going to be full I can drop copper from here in and then I'll come back and then this will at least be ingots and we're going to do the same thing for the iron So, 
I'm going to want to branch off. So this one's at two, of three. I'm going to put a relay here. So then this one can relay back to this. And that one can relay to that. And in here, we'll make this iron ingots. And we'll grab this. and get this smelting iron. Okay. So now that I've got some smelting going on, uh, can I build the constructors yet? I think next round, oh no, I can, but I need one more those. So generally what I'll do, so copper goes directly into coil or into wire, which goes into cable, etc. Iron goes into iron plates and iron rods, which go into other things. So typically I will have one of those iron mines going into um, plates, one of them going into rods. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and craft one more reinforced plate. I'm going to set this up. Um, set it up just right next, next to it, a constructor. Let's spin it around. And go into power mode. Let's connect this power to that. Let's set this up for iron plates. And then we can take these and drop them in there and it'll start crafting those. So little by little, we're improving the automation here. Um, we're gonna go a little bit longer on these episodes. So um, let's keep going for a little bit. Go back up here, grab this stuff so that it keeps going. Drop more of that in there. And grab all of these so it starts farming more. Oh, where did you come from? Let's kill you. I don't want to accidentally run into you. you come from okay that was unexpected they probably wandered off from that over there which is going to be some limestone which since I'm gonna go ahead and need it I'm gonna go ahead and grab it Biomass as you're running around. Always be grabbing biomass. Very soon we'll be able to get those trees out of the way too. And let's give these guys something to smelt. Here, take these. Grab a little more of that iron.
that going. More of this to get that going. Let's see. I don't want to use every single one of my ingots, so actually what I probably want to do right now is craft another miner, which I'm sure cables. So let's craft some wire. Which I already have some. Ten wires. And now I'm going to craft two of these. One of which right here will use about a two to one ratio of iron to everything else. Some limestone there too. So I'm gonna put this one down so that it starts harvesting. But I am also not overly stressed about it. Okay, so this isn't actually legit limestone. It's just surface limestone. Grab the slug. So there is a crash site of somebody else. I'm going to go ahead because these parts will respawn. I'm going to pick these things up. Uh, let's do this. These are parts that might save me a little bit of time later. All right. This is copper ore. What the hell? I thought that was uh, huh? not enough space for that. This is the limestone. As is this. I think this is just surface limestone. That's a alien doggo. All right, well, I don't need a steady supply of the limestone right now. So I'm gonna drop some stuff off, see if I can get enough with what I have to upgrade. And then we'll go ahead and call this an episode. So let's do this for the moment. Let's put that in there. We're not going to need that, or that, or that, or that. The rest of this we probably will. Uh, yeah. So let's do this. And 36. 
see how many plates I have. 24 ingots. Oh, I thought that was a mile, I got a creature. Those. This should be almost full too. Close. That in here. Do the same thing up here. Just need more of these. While that's crafting automatically and smelting, go ahead and do some of this just to speed it up. I think I only need like 15. I should pay attention. Yeah, I need exactly 15. All right. Yay. So there's that. And we're hub level three. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this episode. And we will see you in the next episode. New buildings and blueprints. All right. Have a good one.